types of production system looking from the different point of view the entire problem of production operations management can be visualized as that of managing the material flow into through and out of the production system if we try to detail out the flow characteristics inside the conversion system we shall find out that some systems have very smooth and streamlined flow some others may have more complex flow characteristics in general we more complex the flow characteristics inside the system the most difficult it becomes to manage the system on the basis of material flow characteristics the production system can be grouped into following four categories a mass production or flow line production system b batch production system c job shop and d unit manufacturers of product process the main focus of production management problem will therefore depend upon the types of system problems which are very crucial for mass production may not be relevant for batch production and vice versa it is therefore very important to identify the type of systems we are managing and then focus on main problem of planning and control relevant to that system a brief description of these problems are given in the following sub sections mass production or flow line production systems these systems have simplest flow characteristics constituting straight line flow facilities are arranged according to sequence of operation where the output of one stage becomes input to the next stage the whole system is cascaded major production management system in mass production system are balancing of uh, producing 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 assembly lines machines maintenance and raw materials supply in a production line consists of the series of production centers if workload is unbalanced then the most bottlenecked production stage will govern the whole output rate this will result in increase throughout time and poor capacity utilization thus contributing to low productivity hence a production or assembly line should be designed such that it works is as evenly evenly balanced as possible maintenance becomes important because if any production stage is under breakdown it will block the whole line unless quickly restored back into operational effectiveness raw material to first stage is important to avoid shortage and subsequent starvation of the whole time whole line there are methods and techniques available to attend to the above mentioned problems area some of these will be discussed in the later unit or operation planning and control aspects of mass production system next is batch production system if a variety of products are made with relatively small volume of production it may be not possible to lay out a separate lines of each product in such cases batch production concept is adopted when a product is made in a certain quantity called as batch quantity on the machine and after a while after a while it is discontinued and another product is scheduled in a certain batch quantity thus various product complete for the share of a machine the machines are for general purposes materials flow in such systems is more complex than in mass production system accordingly the planning and control aspects are relatively more difficult some prominent problems are areas are a optimal layout planning for the production system b aggregate production planning to absorb demand fluctuations emotionally economically c machine job allocation problem d determination of economic batch quantity and e scheduling and sequencing of operations production control assumes significance in such system as the status of progress of various products must be just up and effectively monitored job shop a job shop does not have its own standard product but a set whatever customer orders come in 
thus it is essentially a group of facilities and processes a wide variety of customers order in varying batch sizes each order may be a new order requiring process planning tooling and sequencing material flow in job shop like situation is quite complex a dynamic job shop where even customers orders comes in a random fashion is very difficult system to analyze at least from the point of view of production planning and control the main problem is dispatching priority rules to determine the sequence in which various waiting jobs orders are to be processed on manufacturing facilities for example a production manager may sequence the job orders on the basis of short processing time spt rules the job required smallest operation time gets the top most priority in order scheduling from analytical point of view a job shop can be treated as a network of queues and the waiting lines models or situations techniques can be used to analyze it you need manufacture or project suppose we want to make a ship obviously due to large size of the product the entire concept of material flow should change in the various in the previous class, three cases the manpower and facilities were fixed and product or material was moving from place to place here product remains fixed and manpower facilities put work on it some chosen sequence since such products are not made in large number and have long throughput time we can treat each product as a product project we can we can treat each project product as a project thus project planning scheduling and monitoring techniques based on the network model such as port cpm can be used in planning and control of such production systems